What is going on guys today we are looking at what if Regulion. I am going to be calling him Sergio just in case I get the name wrong because I believe we had uh, another player that honestly I feel like I massively screwed up on his name. Sergio is quite easy, 240k at the moment, freestyle weak foot two star skills, left footed high medium at 5 foot 10. So he is obviously the new Spurs left back. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to get himself a one to watch as Bale, unfortunately, took the spotlight with that one. But he has got himself an 87 rated card now. He has gone from an 82 all the way up plus five with the chance of a clean sheet. He could get an extra plus two, taking him up to an 89. And in the Premier League, they have got Crystal Palace next, Arsenal, and then I'm not too sure. So they've got three more matches after that. I personally don't see them being in a clean sheet against Arsenal unless it's a nil-nil, which normally they I don't think they're known for their nil-nil matches. Crystal Palace is a potential, but Palace can always turn up. I suppose you could say that with pretty much any game, but they have got a chance. Obviously, an 89 left back would be nice. Unfortunately, with left and right backs, there is so much competition, it's unreal. In terms of the chemistry style that we will be whacking on him, it will be an anchor, which will take him up to a 90 rated overall left back. It will give him 95 pace, 91 defending, and 85 free physicality so it turns him into quite a nice left back in general obviously we'll have 92 acceleration with the 97 sprint speed we'll have 90 interceptions with 95 standing and 94 sliding 81 strength 83 aggression it's not the greatest but it definitely works 87 stamina i think that's good enough for a right back or left back and the agility balance being 83 and 80 is not bad at all he is very much kind of like He's half and half a left wing back. He has got the crossing. He's got a bit of short pass. Long pass is not quite there yet. But obviously with an extra upgrade. Might actually be a decent left wing back as well. We will play him more as kind of a left back. With the occasional overlapping. But nothing too heavy. Um, just because I like my left back to kind of stay still. Maybe go up to the halfway line. And we put in the left mid. So let's jump straight into him. And see what he can do. Regularly on. First tackle, absolutely brilliant, taking the ball off Messi with ease. Let's see what we can do down this box. Get that pass in. Oh, it's beautiful. The guys ran. We are against two opponents. And Nedved with an atrocious cross. Going to find Sergio. See what we can do. We need Nedved to make that run, which we can see there. It's a lovely ball through. Nedved not really getting the pace on this defender. We can see him give him a help out for the run. See so what we can find with him. What about his crossing? I know I said I'm not going to go too mad with him, but he's already made it up the pitch. That's a, that's a solid ball through. Diata managing to finish it. You can't crumble at that one. Sergio straight on Messi's tail there. Seems to be quite a high presser of the ball, which is which is nice to be fair. Sergio is going to take it away from Messi, and he did not like that one. Sergio with a lovely last minute challenge there. Sergio's going to bring it down. What can we do with it? I'm interested to see what his long balls are like. I know his passing. I think it was him that his long passes wasn't amazing. Let's go with the overlap. You'll love to see it. Ooh, just managing to get out of the sticky situation. I forget that he's got two players on this one. Sergio's got Messi. Messi's managed to get the inside. But we do manage to get the tackle. It's just the agility side of Messi that is going to go and see Sergio absolutely battling to win that ball back. And does get his comeuppance in the end. And we do get the ball out, which is fantastic. Sergio with Messi again. It's obviously a very, very big battle to start with. They do not know how to use Messi very well. He's just constantly running against him. And Sergio's got him absolutely in the back pocket. Sergio's going to come across on Messi. Messi's passed it out wide. We know he wants to go back. Sergio covering all aspects there. Sergio. Messi's going to get past him. He's going to have to pass it round him. Sergio's doing very, very well to keep a team of the year Messi under bay. Every single time. He is not necessarily utilising Messi in his best way. But definitely to keep up with anybody of that standard is very nice from him. Oh, Sergio's red Messi completely wrong. He's had to pass it before he goes out. Does manage to successfully get it out though, which is always nice. And then we screw up that pass. Sergio. Absolutely seeing Kaka out. And a little bit of a flashback Ronaldo as well. 
Sergio with a beautiful challenge on his 91 Cruyff. Absolutely had Messi's pants down. Honestly, he was a fantastic left back. The only problem he's got is there is so much competition. It is unreal. If they wanted to really compete into the Prem, you've obviously got Zinchenko was an SBC. So if you've completed him, personally, I wouldn't really go for Sergio because there's just no point. You've then got obviously Traore, another SBC. So again, if you did him, you wouldn't really go for Sergio. Robertson obviously is coming in at a tradable price or if you did get him untradable then obviously you probably won't go with him again. You can see the kind of pattern. High pace, defending's pretty good I think on all of them. Physicals kind of hit and miss. Maybe passing and dribbling's looking quite nice. Literally every single card has the same bar from maybe Traore's passing but that's kind of made up from the fact that his pace is just absurd. Van Anholt as well. You can't really you can you can't really distinguish a difference between them all. They all have high pace, high defending, physicals are okay, passing's normally pretty good, and dribbling's pretty good. They are all the same card. The only thing that's different is who do you link them with? Do you have an icon there? Do you have a Scottish CDM, a Ukrainian CDM, left mid, a Spanish CM, CDM? Obviously them two would work quite well in terms of either either, basically. But all, overall, he's a good player. But he's in a very, very saturated position. And, and that is the problem. That's just a Premier League left back. Ferland Mendy, for me, takes the absolute number one spot regardless. And we're barely even going on to icons. So this is going to be the problem with a left back. Is It all depends on, do you, do you need that position? He is a new transfer, obviously, to Spurs from Real Madrid. Obviously, he was at Sevilla last year and he was... Don't think he was the objective. I want to say he was in the team. And I think it was Yuri who was actually the objective. Or it was vice versa. I think either one of them was either in the objective or in the team. There was two Spanish left backs. And honestly, he's a nice player. I feel like with the 89, it will bump him up even more. Which genuinely could put him ahead of a couple of them left backs. But I still think there is kind of like the defining ones with the SBCs. If you've completed an SBC... I don't see why this card should take precedent over that one when you've already put coins into it. Unless you get this guy untradeable, that is always the case. Obviously, we did back the anchor on him. It's cracking defending stats like the rest. They're high, they're very nice, and he can play quite well. Obviously, the two-star skills, three-star weak foot, a little bit of a hindrance. I would like that four weak foot. He's left-footed, which is always fantastic, but he has got a high attacking work rate, medium defensive, so you do need to make sure you've got your custom tactics set up. But overall, fantastic player. Personally, I'm giving him an 8.7 out of 10. Let me know down below what you think. Can Tottenham get a clean sheet against their next five domestic? Let me know down below.